Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to redo a block that is called something. I really got to write that down. The last few videos I've done I haven't even paid attention. Okay, it's called Homeward Bound. It was in the Christmas quilt along. Um, however, this time we're going to do it a little bit different way and obviously we're doing it smaller because it's going to be the Harry Potter block. So I started out with, you're going to need the green fab, my green fabric, I needed one five by five and four three by five and four three by three. Now on the three by five and the three by three, you really only need two and three quarters by five and two and three quarters by two and three quarters. But again, I like to cut mine just a hair bigger and trim it down because A, I stuffed my pillow with it and B, well, I guess A would be the fact that I wouldn't have to redo it if I stitched something a little bit wrong. And B would be that I stuffed my pillow with it. So I've already done two of my corners here and attached this because I was prepping it, making sure everything was going to come out right before I come on and show you guys. So I'm only going to do these two corners with you for now. So we're going to start by folding this over. And we're going to put a little pin in it. Right there on the side we're going to stitch. And same with this one. We're going to put a pin on the side we're going to stitch. And now this is going to, I'm going to sew this one exactly how I would sew regularly. So when I'm done these two, I'm going to go ahead and pin this one to run it through. And I don't have to use my starter and stopper because that's how I actually sew. But when I'm showing you, uh, sometimes I'll, well, most of the time, I'll come back over each step, but I do want to do some videos where I show you exactly what I do. So we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to run these through. See, there's where I already did the one and I've already sewn part of it together. So we're going to just stitch down through these two. Now, the only thing with this is since I cut them three by three, again, you do need two and three quarters, or yeah, two and three quarters if you want to cut it. Um, exact if you're confident in your sewing which I am I just I like to have extra I guess I like to be sure so now we're gonna sew this down so anyways after each step of that small block there we're gonna have to trim which will be all right we're gonna cut these three off and we're gonna come back over to iron. Cut these apart. This was my bottom piece. We're going to iron it open. And doing it this way lets us, the iron, I had turned it off there. It doesn't take long to heat up though. Doing it this way lets us have less time spent really because then I don't have to wait till the end and match up all my my seams and so on because my rows will pretty much be sewn together at that point which let's face it is great so now we're gonna lay this up here and actually we're not going to we're going to take this and my other bottom piece and I'm going to go ahead and pin it and that is exactly how we're going to sew it there so just pin it lay it to the side these two are going to move up. This is going to move up. It is that piece right there, but we just need it out of the way for a minute. Now these, you need them to be five inches wide. I did find my five inch ruler and we're just going to, it needs to be five by three, which it's already three. So I'm just going to take the, the ruler at the two and a half mark and line it right there up on the seam line and just trim those two off. Then this will go here. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Line up the two and a half. All right. Now we're gonna take these, and actually I want this one there and this one here because I don't want those two. Well, whatever, that's how it's gonna be anyway. So now we're just gonna fold it over I want the seam to go down when I'm sewing, so I'm going to sew it from this side. I'm going to sew this up and this one. 
we are going to do it first and then we'll use the other one as our ender that we already have pinned and laying over here. And we have two more after this one on the Harry Potter build. And then I'll have all the blocks made. He is very excited to get it. I, on the other hand, I'm just very excited to get it done. <laughs> just kidding. I do. Well, I'm not kidding. I am excited to get it done. But I am excited for him to have it. Right, let's trim them off. Head back over. Grab the pressing mat. We're going to iron this one to the green. And then again, while I'm here. This is how I would normally do it. I'm just going to attach this one. If I'm making just one, like if I'm making a whole quilt out of something, I'll, I would do like each step. Like I'd do all these and it would line up and, and make all the blocks separately. I earned the wrong side of that. <laughs> all right. Now, one more trimming on these. And that is because it has to be five inches. So now we are going to line up the two and a half inch line going straight down and the two and a half inch line on this side. And that should be, that should line them both up. And we'll trim those edges off. Again, you can see I'm trimming a quarter inch. So you could have just cut it correctly. But I don't like to do it that way. Can you see that? We're going to line up the quarter inch or the two and a half all the way down and the two and a half there. I do know my, my mat spins. I rarely use that. I bought it for that, but I rarely use it. Okay, so now we just have to so this, and I'm going to sew this one, and then I'm going to sew the other one that I already have pinned over there, and then I'll come back, while I'm over there, I'll just grab this one and sew it in there, and then our rows will be together, and I'll come back and show you, and we'll pin it for the rest of it. Trim those apart, grab the other one. See how fa much faster that is because I'm not running over there to after every stitch. I won't do them all like this in the videos, but I do like to do some like that to show you how I'm actually doing it. Now we will need a... Actually, we won't because... Yet again, it's going to work out for us. So we'll iron this one to the middle, to the solid piece. This is the top row, or I'm sorry, this is the bottom. We did the top together. Well, well, that one's already ironed. There it is. That's the bottom. And now this we will iron to the outside. So you're going to iron them all to... Whatever fabric you choose, this is going to be this black stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm not even showing you all that. I'm so sorry. So I ironed this one to the inside because I wanted it solid. And I ironed this one, the middle row, to the outside. I did that in the last video, too. Y'all are probably like, get it together, girl. So this is the middle, and this is the bottom. You want these in the corner, so I'm going to fold this down. 
I'm going to iron that correctly. I'm not sure what happened there. All right, now we will pin our, our seams. If I can get a hold of them. We only have the middle ones because there's no seam on this edge, but we will pin. I did do that in the last video I did. I'm bringing you back with me. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to leave you over there. So now we're going to sew this up. Make sure that's folded under. And now this would be the only part that we need to use the ender on because we'll have to use it to sew to cut both these off. Oh, I ran out of y'all. What a video it's going to be. I ran out of bobbin thread. I'm going to throw this yellow in here. I'm trying to use up stuff. Again, okay, now we're going to cut it apart and come back over, iron these. I'm going to bring you with me this time. You're welcome. We're going to iron this one. This is our top. And then we'll iron this one. And we're going to iron this one to the middle because they're all solid. Less bulk. Ooh, my seams matched it pretty good on that one. So now we just have to add this one. Fold it over. And it so on the first one when I did this I did these in strips and then I just cut them down but I still cut them at three inches but that's just preference I mean most people would probably do two and three quarters but I'm not most people I like to do my own thing Also, when I was first starting out, I, I cut wrong too many times. Eventually, I'll probably get to the point where I'm comfortable cutting shorter, but I'm not there yet. All right. Now we just have to iron this open. And one more block done. And only two more to go. But then we have to quilt it. And I'm not sure I like that part as much as I like this part. All right. Stand up, Iron. There it is. It's called Homeward Bound. And this is the 14 inch version. So there it is. I hope you make it and love it. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.